My name is Reg Early and my wife's name is Nan. After living in Mount Victoria, we moved to Porirua in 1955, at which stage Porirua was a village and controlled by a county council. Our purchase of 40 Narrowata Street was made possible by a rehab loan, which I was eligible for as a result of serving three and a half years in the Air Force. The rural atmosphere was a pleasant change from city life. My knowledge of the local area was enhanced by my participation as Secretary of the Porirua Ratepayers and Residents Association for several years. Ranui Heights, as it is now known, was part of Porirua East, which was then in the initial stages of the state housing development. During the 47 years in the house, we updated it and made some extensions. The arrival of the water and sewerage connections in approximately 1960 meant we could have an inside toilet. Our three children were at all brought up in the house and went to Porirui School and Mana College. The children played cricket and football. We'd go for lots of picnics with our neighbours and the children all played together. No drugs then and we didn't drink much alcohol. Our house was on a quarter acre section, typical of many of the homes in that area, owned by staff of Porirua Hospital. Initially, there was no sewerage, no water reticulation, and not many footpaths. The village consisted of a post office, a butcher, a draper, a shoe store, and a general store, plus an unlicensed hotel and a doctor. Everybody knew each other in Ranui Heights, and there was a mixture of ages. A lot of residents worked in government departments. My wife was involved locally at Porirua School teaching sewing and involved in fundraising events and also was involved in the care and craft organisation providing social interest for the elderly. The motorway was not built then so I caught the train into Wellington each day. We have many happy memories of Raunui Heights and the people who lived there, but found it necessary to move to a smaller home due to our advancing years.